in the raised surface step, you can create surfaces that will form the outer geometry of the occlusal splint. When designing an anterior deprogrammer type splint with contacts only on the anterior areas and no guidance requirements, a good tool to start with is the raised to antagonist plane. The tool can be used by dragging the cursor over the desired teeth areas. The values shown here were used to create a bite block with well-defined edges. The raised to antagonist plane allows the use of a plane perpendicular to the occlusal plane to form the bite block surface. The plane height should be adjusted to just be in contact or only slightly overlap the tips of the lower incisors. Use the control points to adjust the position of the plane. In this case, the raised block ranges roughly from central incisor to central incisor. The raised bite block can also cover a bigger area, such as that from lateral incisor to lateral incisor. Please note that alternatively, you can choose to use the raised to antagonist cusp tips tool to create the anterior bite block. This will result in a flat plane with close contacts to the occluding teeth, with the following design step being the same. However, the plane of the block will not be perpendicular to the occlusal plane. In the example case, we'll leave non-occluding areas unselected, which will result in a generic offset from the scan surface in the previously defined splint thickness. When satisfied with the design, move further on 